What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video, we're going to be talking about my favorite inexpensive brushes for the face. So, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys because you, this was very highly requested by um, some of you guys on my Snapchat. But my Snapchat family knows who I am. Like, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, follow me there. You guys asked what were my go-to brushes for the face and some of you guys also asked me what are the best drugstore brushes out there that they can try for this and that. I gathered some of them and I really wanted to make this video for you guys and show you guys what are my go-to face brushes when it comes for the drugstore. Some of these brands are pretty much looked over just because they're at the drugstore don't mean that you're gonna get crappy quality yes there's some that are very crappy but there's some that actually have put work in it and they're really soft and they're really really good so we're gonna start off with this one which I just really excited that I discovered and I only have two because this were the two that kind of called out my attention and these are from Target okay I have a box so this is what it looks like this will be the complexion brush which is this one right here um, this is what the box looks like is their up and up brand by Target and this one is for smooth even application and this is supposedly for uh, blah, 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 blah. this is supposedly for foundation or concealer because it is a dense brush and I gotta tell you it's pretty dense and I actually used it to um, blend my BB cream and I was like wow it blends it really really well and it definitely leaves it like a flawless um, airbrush finish I would say it's not gonna pack on so much product it's just pretty much gonna help you be able to blend that to make sure that your skin looks pretty much on the more natural side I haven't tried it with a heavier foundation but I did try it with the BB cream because it's kind of more on the liquidy side and I blend it on my skin and I love the results I loved how how um, sheer cover I had but it looked so natural and I was like wow and this was from this is from the up and up brand by Target the other one that I got was this one and this is their blush brush and I absolutely been loving look at the the way it is it's a flat <clears throat> rounded sort of like a, a not rounded but it has that that angle I would say it's of a of a brush this one I use it for blush of course what it is I love it because it's a perfect size I dab the blood the brush into the blush and I just pretty much dab it on the top of my cheekbones and I absolutely love it because it gives me that precise application without making me look like a clown because some blush brush can be pretty big like this one by real technique this is pretty big this is a pretty big brush so if you're just trying to apply a little bit of blush onto your skin just to give it a little bit of a warmth color I highly recommend this blush brush because it is so it, I, I think it's on the perfect size you pack on a little bit of color and then you apply it to the cheeks of your um the apple of your cheeks and I absolutely love love it love it honestly um they do have for eyes I have not yet tried it this video is more for face because I'm gonna be honest all my eye brushes are pretty much Sigma because it's the ones that I've had for years and I haven't branched out to any other brand which I should start branching out but that's why this is more on the face the other, um, of course, we're going to talk about is Real Technique brushes. Real Technique brushes, you guys all know, are like hands down one of the best drugstore brushes out there. If you guys haven't tried Real Techniques or are skeptical to try Real Technique, I highly, highly recommend them. I have a lot more Real Technique, but these are the ones that I really wanted to talk to you guys about. This one right here is from the gold, their Bold Metal Collection. This one here, I used it for contouring when I really wanted to get that sharp edge of contour. I actually um, I applied it, I dabbed it onto the contour powder and with that same edge right here I just swiped it across and it gave me that bam harsh line contour um, and I absolutely been lo I love it for that and the fact that it's so thin I also apply it for the top of my forehead because I don't want to make it too thick so I love it for that you can use it for anything brushes are pretty much you can play with them the way you feel like it and the way they're more comfortable for you this one is more comfortable for me when it came to actually contour it because it actually helped me contour very, very well defined contour, very well on the temples of my face, on of course the forehead, and on the side of my nose as well because of the fact that it was so thin. 
The next one for um, Real Technique has to be, this one is my favorite. This is, if I'm not mistaken, is their contour brush because of the fact that it's a pointy dome brush. And of course, it perfectly, it goes perfectly right under your cheekbones to be able to get that contour. But I actually use it for my setting my under eyes with my powder. This is just, I just think that it's the perfect size to be able to get in there very well and be able to set my powder pretty well and of course in the bridge of my nose I just think it's the perfect perfect size to be able to set your powder so I use it to set my powder I just think it's an amazing brush uh, then this one is their powder brush but this one is I use it for the tanning product if you guys saw my latest video which is my main favorite I explain how I use my tanning with this brush it's an amazing powder brush I mean if you are a type of person that likes to put powder then this is gonna be great for you but honestly I use this for my tanning because it actually helps me blend my tan very very well the other one is the face, um, this is the face expert brush. This is more of a dense brush. They use this one for concealer or for foundation. I like to use it for concealer. I like to, if I'm mixing a very thick creamy concealer, I don't apply it straight to my under eyes. I apply it in the back of my hand and I warm it up a little bit with my fingers. And then with this, I dab it on the back of my hand and I apply it all over my under eyes and normally where I apply the, foam, the, the concealer. And of course, I blend it out with my beauty blender. But this, I use it to be able to pack on and make sure that it packs onto my face. This is what I use it for, and I just think it's an amazing brush. You can use it for foundation. I've never used this for foundation. Look how little it is for foundation. <sighs> the next two, um, I want to talk about them. I'm going to be talk briefly. It's the Wet n Wild ones. I think Wet n Wild has come out with amazing brushes. I, also, I do have eyes for Wet n Wild, um, which I've been loving. But these two right here I have been using, I think these are the only two I bought for a face. But this one right here, um, they don't have names whatsoever. They just pretty much say wet and wild. This is supposedly going to be for the, I'm sorry, they're dirty. I just, I washed these brushes about two weeks ago. A week ago. Two weeks ago. And that same, the day after I was going to record this video, my camera broke. And I just recently got a camera like five days ago so excuse that they're a little bit dirty but I used them I was like I'm not gonna wash this again so this one right here I like to use it for blush as well or to be honest I have been using this for this um for this elf palette and I just pretty much swirled my brush into whichever color I wrapped it and I swirled it across my face for like a bronzy look and I applied the bronzer with it and I applied the highlight with this as well and it blended and it well it worked wonders on my face to be honest. You can use it as a blush as a blush brush, you can use it as a bronzer brush, you can use it as a contour brush because it is very also it has that thin that thin um it's very thin, it's not that it's not too thick as well. So I absolutely love this blush. I mean you can use it for whatever. That's what I use it for. And then this one right here, um, you can use it for your BB cream or you can use it for your foundation. If you don't want a heavy, heavy coverage, then I, co I recommend using this one right here. This is a flat top kabuki <laughs> because that's what pretty much it looks like. It's a flat top dense brush and you can definitely use it for your beauty blender or your foundation. I use it with my foundation, but I use it with a more liquidy foundation, which is my um, Maybelline in Fit Me foundation, which is a little more on the liquidy side. And I just wanted to get like a very natural cover. That's what I used it for. It gives me more of a flawless finish rather than this one. This one gives me a more, this one gives me a more medium coverage uh, when I'm using the BB cream, and this one gives me more like a sheer coverage. You see the difference? Maybe you can see the difference. This is more rounded, dense, and this is a little bit more on the flexible side. And then the last one, the last but not the least, of course, is Elf. I recommend you going into Target, you going into the, the e.l.f. Um, shell area and you just grabbing all the e.l.f. brushes that you see because they are all really, really, really good. I'm just going to talk about my top brushes from e.l.f. And I know I have another one, but I just can't find it. But they are, these ones are the professional line one. The first one is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I like to use this one when I'm on the go and I'm not, I don't want to take this... And I don't want to take the, this big bulky one from face from Real Technique. I use this one, which is pretty much the same thing of that one. Instead of using it for concealer, I just use it to pretty much set my concealer because it is the perfect, perfect shape for under your eye, as you guys can see. So this is for that. It's just a smaller version of that one. Then the other one is the e.l.f. blush brush. And I use this one when I'm baking my face because it's so thin. 
I use it to remove the powder where I'm baking my face under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on the tip, and then of course on the forehead. That's what I use it for. You can use it for blush, you can use it for whatever, but this brush are amazing. You wash them and they don't lose their shape whatsoever. The next one is the e.l.f. Contour Brush. Of course, it's for contouring. I use it for that, tart, that sharp, defined contour line on my face. Right here, right here, on the nose, on the nose. On the bridge, on on the forehead, on the forehead, amazing! I love love that one. <clears throat> and the last one is there, is there? I think it's called that all over. I think it's called a blending brush. I don't know what they're called. I I, I don't know. If, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put pictures of the brush. The I'm gonna put pictures of the brushes with their names, how much they are, when you can find them on my blog. So check the description on the bottom. Click on my click on the link. Go over to my blog, and you will see all of them with pictures where you can find them and how much they are. This is their. I think it's I'm gonna say this is their blending brush. I use this one for my powder foundation. I like to swirl the brush in there and get it all over because it is such a good. Um, it's just a perfect like I would say um shape. To be able to get it there, you can also use it for foundation. But I saw that for foundation, it kind of get, left me a little bit streaky because it's not that uh, dense. Some people do use it. I've seen it here on YouTube, but for me, it did not work. But it did work for my powder foundation. So I swirled the brush on my powder, and then I just pretty much put powder all over my face with this, and it definitely helps me blend everything into its place. That is all the brushes that I have been loving that I use on an everyday basis when it comes to drugstore. So, I mean, you can always check around and you'll be surprised where you would find brushes. So I hope you liked this video. If you guys want to see more informative videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what have been your brushes that you've been loving from the drugstore. I also would love to try them if I wouldn't mention them here. Leave it on the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're doing that giveaway pretty soon. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for sticking until the end. Mwah! Besotes. Be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye!